Hi guys, welcome to Animal Wonders, I'm Jessie, and we have some announcements to make. A couple of months ago, we rescued a new sugar glider, and we introduced him to our old male gizmo. Now, when I put up the video about him in the introduction, I hadn't come up with a name for him yet, so I asked for suggestions from you. Well, if you take a browse through the comment section of those videos, you'll see there's an overwhelming majority for one particular name. Now, there were some really great names that I will keep in mind for future use for other animals, but I agree with a majority for this little guy. So his name is officially Gadget. So we've got Gizmo and Gadget. Come on out, guys. Since the introduction, these guys have been getting along really well. I mean, there's, there's an occasional <laughs> bickering over favorite foods, but Gizmo has established himself as dominant and Gadget acquiesces pretty quickly with just a little griping every once in a while. I'm super happy with how all of this turned out. It just, it just perfect, everything worked out so perfect. Gadget is now doing shows with Gizmo and he doesn't come all the way out and run around on the audience members like Gizmo does, but he does pop his head out and he takes a mealworm and he's so gentle about it. He's even more gentle than Gizmo is because Gizmo, you know, has as good a chance of biting your finger as he does, you know, getting the treat, but Gadget's just so gentle. So thank you everyone who suggested names. Next we have this little gal, and she went by the name Little Lady Armadillo for quite a while. We rescued her last June, and we put her name up for bid on our fundraising page, and the months went by and, and we didn't have a name for her, but she continues to do shows and spread understanding, excitement, and knowledge about armadillos. <laughs> Okay, so the big reveal, she has a name, and the honor goes to a very generous supporter of Animal Wonders. He's an avid animal lover, and I'm just so thankful that he picked a really good name. Introducing Gaia, the three-banded armadillo. Gaia carries herself close to the earth. She digs in earth's ground. You wanna show digging? Dig, 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 dig. And she even kind of looks like the earth. Sometimes. So thank you, Hammond, for choosing such a great name and for being so awesome. And now for our last announcement, the t-shirt giveaway, yay! So a few weeks ago, we actually revealed our new Animal Wonders poster, which is now hanging right here, but we had to take down our 2013 Bowling for Animals t-shirt, and now we have to give it away. So I'd ask if anyone wanted it, and if you did, you had to tell me a reason why you wanted it. And so I got some great stories. Thank you so much for sending them in. You guys are awesome, but the stories were so good and so convincing that I couldn't choose between them. So I'm doing the only logical thing. So I wrote your names out, and I'm going to put them in this basket, and Kimosabi is gonna take full responsibility for the placement of this shirt. I mean, it's serious business. I mean, the shirt takes extra special care from approaching it slowly, to giving it tender loving care in the washing machine, to wearing it with respect. Yeah. It's serious business and it all rests on Kimo's shoulders. Yeah. Okay, here yeah. goes nothing. We've done it, we've named two animals, and we found a new home for the legendary green t-shirt. If you guys would like to go on an adventure with us every week, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana, or you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. Weasels, that's what we're talking about today. I've learned that the word weasel conjures up a different image for different people.